showing you how to clean hairbrushes. Now the reason for this is, hairbrushes have the highest infestation rate followed by sink plug holes and dog bowls. Hairbrushes are a haven for bacteria. They carry nearly 3,500 colonies per square inch. The build-up of hair and styling products in your brush create the perfect environment for bacteria to thrive. So, in order for us to keep our hair brushes really clean, also it stops your hair from being greasy as well, if you clean your hair brushes regularly and it stops bacteria, what you're going to need is a pair of scissors, and you're then also going to need a comb, and you're going to need these, these sterilising tablets. This brand is Milton. You can get, obviously, other ones as well. They're just baby sterilising tablets. So grab yourself some of those as well. So I'm going to now show you how to keep your hairbrushes nice and clean. OK, so first we're going to take our Milton sterilising tablets. And we're just going to put two in the sink with some warm water. So now your sink's full and it's got the sterilising tablets in it, what you need to do is take your first brush, I'm using this one, this is my daughter's, and you can already see the hair that I've started to pull out with the comb. You just need to pull the comb up and it will loosen the hair and then you can just take that hair away and I actually, I don't know whether this is supposed to, you're supposed to do this or not, but I actually throw the hair down the toilet and just flush it away because I have no time for that being in my kitchen bin because before you know it someone's going to choke on a hairball and I don't want to be hair responsible for that quite frankly. Once you've pulled all the hairs out, if there's any that you really can't get to, that's when your scissors come in handy. So you can take your scissors and you can just cut along and it makes it really easy to get the hairs out. But once you're happy you've got most of the hair out, just put it in the sink and that will soak within the sterilising fluid. And just do the same with all of your brushes. So, I'll show you again with this one. You just need to put the comb in and it will pull out. There's not much hair in this one because this is actually my brush. and it's taking it out on the comb. And then again, that I'll just flush that down the toilet and then that will soak in the sterilising fluid. Okay, so once your brushes have all had all the hair removed, soak them in the solution of the sterilising tablets and then you need to get yourself a toothbrush and just adopt the meerkat position for a moment, like so. Just to see how they're getting on. They look good though. They look like all the hair products being taken out. And we're now going to scrub with a toothbrush. This is from OXO, this one. It's actually meant for um, cleaning different areas of your sink or your bath. But I also use this on my brushes. But you can use a toothbrush if you wish. Okay, so just start scrubbing with your toothbrush. Um, all of the crevices inside the combs. That will remove any kind of product that's in their hairsprays, gels, and that will make them nice and clean again, like so. And then do the same with your brushes as well. Just scrub it in so that any product that's in there, and this way the sterilising tablets will be killing any bacteria that thinks they're funny lingering around, like pathetic little urchins. They're like sea urchins now in a bowl of bleach because the Milton does smell like bleach. Don't use bleach on your hairbrushes though. Um, and just carry on scrubbing and look, as you're scrubbing, you'll see like you'll get more hair. 
So that will then go down the toilet with the rest of it. And just keep doing that with all the brushes that you have. And this will really, really make them nice and clean and it will make them look like new. Obviously the water's really dirty now, so that leaves me confident that it's having the desired effect. It's getting rid of any bacteria and dirt and grime that have built up on these brushes that have been hanging around my house. And once you're happy that they're all really clean, which I think I am now, um, what you need to do is lay them face down like that, so the bristles side down on um, a towel. A tea towel works best. Don't put them on a fluffy towel because you'll get the, the fluff, the fibres from the towel um, in your hairbrushes and then you'll be that poor soul that walks around the supermarket and has someone staring at your head and then they're like oh sorry you just got fluff in your hair and then it's really embarrassing and you're like oh Maggie why don't you mind your own business and carry on with your pick and packing so we're done let the sink out and my sink will get a nice bleach now as well just in case any bacteria has decided to linger thanks so much for watching my vlog I hope you found it helpful and I'll catch you next time on Beauty and the Bleach. See ya!